Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Mind Map. Today's topic of discussion is marine pollution. First of all, we will discuss about the introduction of the topic. Then we will discuss about causes of ocean pollution, effects of ocean pollution, global initiatives and prevention of ocean pollution. First of all, moving on to the introduction of marine pollution. The oceans cover over 70% of the globe. Its health, well-being of humanity and the living environment that sustains us all are inextricably linked. Yet neglect of ocean acidification, climate change, polluting activities and over-exploitation of marine resources have made oceans one of the Earth's most threatened ecosystems. Marine pollution, also known as ocean pollution, is the spreading of harmful substances such as oil, plastic, industrial and agricultural waste and chemical particles into the ocean. Now moving on to causes of ocean pollution. There are various ways in which pollution enters the ocean. First is sewage. Sewage or polluting substances flow through sewage, rivers or drainages directly into the ocean. Next is toxic chemicals from industries. Industrial waste which is directly discharged into the oceans results in ocean pollution. The hazardous and toxic chemicals affect marine life. Also, they raise the temperature of the ocean and cause thermal pollution. Aquatic animals and plants have difficulty surviving at higher temperatures. Third is land runoff. Land-based sources such as agricultural runoff, discharge of nutrients and pesticides, and untreated sewage including plastics account for approximately 80% of marine pollution. The runoff picks up man-made harmful contaminants that pollute the ocean including fertilizers, petroleum, pesticides and other forms of soil contaminants. Fourth is large-scale oil spills. Pollution caused by ships is a huge source of ocean pollution, the most devastating effect of which is oil spills. Crude oil lasts for years in the sea and is extremely toxic to marine life. It suffocates the marine animals to death. Crude oil is also extremely difficult to clean up. Fifth is ocean mining. Ocean mining sites drilling for silver, gold, copper, cobalt and zinc create sulphide deposits up to 3,500 meters down into the ocean. Next is plastic pollution. In 2006, the United Nations Environment Programme estimated that every square mile of ocean contains 46,000 pieces of floating plastic. Once discarded, plastics are weathered and eroded into very small fragments known as microplastics. These together with plastic pellets are already found in most beaches around the world. Plastic materials and other litter can become concentrated in certain areas called gyres as a result of marine pollution gathered by oceanic currents. Seventh is carbon dioxide. In addition to all these factors, the oceans are highly affected by carbon dioxide and climate changes, which impacts primarily the ecosystems and fish communities that live in the ocean. In particular, the rising levels of CO2 leads to ocean acidification and other factors, coastal tourism, port and harbour developments, damming of rivers, urban development and construction, mining, fisheries, aquaculture, etc. are all sources of marine pollution threatening coastal and marine habitats. Now let's have a look at effects of ocean pollution. First is effect of toxic waste on marine animals. The long-term effect on marine life can include cancer, failure in the reproductive system, behavioral changes and even death. Disruption to the cycle of coral reefs. Oil spill floats on the surface of the water and prevents sunlight from reaching marine plants and affects the process of photosynthesis. Third is depletes oxygen content in water. Most of the debris in the ocean does not decompose and remain in the ocean for years. Due to this, oxygen levels go down. As a result, the chances of survival of marine animals like whales, turtles, sharks, dolphins, penguins for a long time also goes down. Eutrophication When a water body becomes overly enriched with minerals and nutrients which induce excessive growth of algae and algal bloom. This process also results in oxygen depletion of the water body. Next is failure in the reproductive system of sea animals. 
केमिकल्स फ्रॉम पेस्टिसाइड्स कैन एक्यूमुलेट इन द फैटी टिश्यू ऑफ एनिमल्स लीडिंग टू फेलियर इन दियर रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इफेक्ट ऑन फूड चेन स्मॉल एनिमल्स इंजेस्ट द डिस्चार्ज केमिकल्स एंड आर लेटर ईटन बाय लार्ज एनिमल्स विच देन अफेक्ट द होल फूड चेन नॉ मूविंग ऑन टू ग्लोबल इनिशिएटिव फर्स्ट इज द ग्लोबल प्रोग्राम ऑफ एक्शन फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द मेरीन एनवायरमेंट फ्रॉम लैंड बेस्ड एक्टिविटीज द जी पी ए इज द ओनली ग्लोबल इंटरगोमेंटल मेकेनिज्म डायरेक्टली एड्रेसिंग द कनेक्टिविटी बिटवीन टेरिस्ट्रियल फ्रेश वॉटर कोस्टल एंड मेरीन इको सिस्टम्स एंड इंटरनेशनल कन्वेंशन फर्स्ट इज मारपोल कन्वेंशन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री इट कवर्स पॉल्यूशन ऑफ द मेरीन एनवायरमेंट बाय शिप्स फ्रॉम ऑपरेशनल और एक्सीडेंटल कॉजेज इट लिस्ट वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ मेरीन पॉल्यूशन कॉज्ड बाय ऑयल नॉक्सियस लिक्विड सब्सटेंसेस हार्मफुल सब्सटेंसेस इन पैकेज्ड फॉर्म सीवेज एंड गार्बेज फ्रॉम शिप्स एटसेट्रा सेकंड इज द लंडन कन्वेंशन 1972 इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू प्रमोट द इफेक्टिव कंट्रोल ऑफ ऑल सोर्सेस ऑफ मेरीन पॉल्यूशन एंड टू टेक ऑल प्रैक्टिकेबल स्टेप्स टू प्रिवेंट पॉल्यूशन ऑफ द सी बाय डंपिंग ऑफ वेस्ट एंड अदर मैटर थर्ड इज ग्रीन पीस It is an environmental NGO that is dedicated to conserving the oceans and marine life across the globe. Its grassroots efforts have resulted in the ban of destructive fishing practices, companies changing their fishing policies and the creation of whale sanctuaries. Now lastly let's discuss about the prevention of ocean pollution. Implement renewable energy sources such as wind or solar power to limit offshore drilling, limit agricultural pesticides and encourage organic farming and eco friendly pesticide use proper sewage treatment and exploration of eco friendly waste water treatment options cut down on the industry and manufacturing waste and contain it into landfills to avoid spillage use of biotechnology bio remediation use of specific microorganisms to metabolize and remove harmful substances to treat oil spills at individual level reduce carbon footprint by adopting a green lifestyle and have a global treaty on banning single use plastics and collaborated effort to clean up the ocean now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims based practice question consider the following statements on marine pollution one chemicals and debris are the majority sources of marine pollution two underwater noise also causes marine pollution which of the statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two you can send the answer of this question in the comment section and now main question plastic pollution is the most widespread problem affecting the marine environment discuss so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications